Well, welcome to my video. I do apologise in the delaying videos, but I've been very busy the last year or so at work. I don't often get a spare day off to make videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this transmitter. Comes in kit form on eBay. You can buy this with a power button for an amazing £1.9p, which is about $1.40, I believe, something like that. It's astonishing. It's got a power button, it's got a case, all the components. Unbelievable value for money. Well, after waiting just under three weeks, it arrives. Let's see what we've got. I ordered two of these kits. Now, as you can see, no instructions. So that ain't a problem. There we go. Two of them. Well, this is what we've got in the kit. I mean, these are amazing value for money. I don't know how they do it. Is it one pound nine p UK? It's about one dollar forty US. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, There's a very small antenna. We can always put a longer antenna on for more range. Not a problem. Let's have a look. A lovely little case. One of the resistors. Nice little circuit board, clearly marked, and focused. It's part of the power switch. There's your um, on and off, on off switch. Yeah, your coil. We use this for adjusting the frequency. There's uh, what we've got three resistors. 10k resistor. There's your transistor. The ceramic caps. Oh, that was 24 parts to this kit. You've got three resistors. You've got seven ceramic capacitors. One electrolytic. You've got your um, transistor, your coil, on our switch, your microphone, your circuit board, PCB. Your antenna and your two parts to the um, the case. I mean, this circuit board is clearly marked with component locations and values. So really, the instructions are not needed. Should we put it together? If you're worried about where the parts go, it's very simple. Everything's marked up. Your resistors are colour coded. So just pop online if you're not sure of the values and um, type the colours in. Like this is a brown, black and orange and gold. So this should come up as a 10k resistor. And as you can see on this circuit board. I'm not sure if that's focused. 10k goes there. You can't go wrong. Same with the um, ceramic capacitors. That's marked as 15. As you can see, that's 15 peak of iron. So that will go just out. So very simple. If you're not sure, just pop online, find out the values, and the circuit board's clearly marked. You can't go wrong. Okay, let's get ready to solder these parts in. We'll start off with the um, the resistors. There's no particular order you've got to put these in really. I mean I normally start with the resistors then I'll do the caps and the coil and transistor and everything else. Oh, right, so this is our 10k resistor. Just bring that into shape. Clearly marked 10k. Our second resistor is red, black, brown, gold. That's the 200 ohm. 
sort of fit that in. Our last resistor is the yellow violet orange gold goes out in 47k. Now when soldering, if you can always use flux. Makes your job a lot quicker and a hell, hell of a lot neater if you can. Get yourself some flux. Well should we start soldering? Cast the three resistors in. What are the ceramic capacitors? No. Well, that's all this ceramic capacitors installed. We'll just solder them in next. Before we do solder them in, what we'll do, we'll trim them up first. Okay, so all the ceramic caps done, they're all installed. Alright, next four components are the microphone, the five tone coil, the transistor, and the electrolytic capacitor. Just make sure you get this, this the right way around. There are six pins on this um, power switch. I think what we're going to do is bend three of them 90 degrees. All that. And just install it. There you go. The five turn coil that comes with this kit has been tinned as you can see, so that makes soldering a lot easier. When installing the microphone, just make sure you get the polarity the right way around. It's hard to see with this small microphone, but you'll see two little connectors connecting to this, the case of this microphone, so that'll be the ground. So just make sure you put that in the right way around. Okay, so all the components installed. Not look too bad, is it? Is that focusing? That's not too bad. It's a bit difficult to solder when you're filming. 
you know, you got the light and everything in the way. It can be a bit difficult. There's the antenna um, and the four battery connectors. Install them next. Next thing is to do now is put a 90 degree bend on the pins on these battery connectors. Can be quite tricky to do, the metal's quite solid. Just bit of pliers and there we go. As you can see, all the battery connectors are in. Use a pair of pliers to um, hold them in place, as you see in the video. There we go. Well, that should fit nice in there in the case. That's going to be a tight fit. Oh, there you go. Lovely, that fits nice. What I did notice on this board, there's two holes there. See either side of the um, power switch. What you can do there is you use an old leg off an um, resistor, bend it round, it actually goes round the power switch to reinforce it. So we'll do put that in, we'll solder that in. Alright, we'll put our antenna in next. Well, it's all complete now. What we'll do, I'll we'll install the batteries and we'll test it. Okay, and as you can see, I've put two batteries in. Here's a big test, does it work? This is my um, frequency counter. Only about, I think about 10, 12 quid, something like that. They're not very expensive. Here we go. Does it work? Fingers crossed. Well, it does. 91.355 megahertz. Oh, that's good. I'll tune in now with the radio. I'll try and tune into it now. about there. Okay, that's been detected by the radio. The feedback. Oh, I apologise if you've got headphones on. Let's put it near the telly and give it a test. Right, let's give it a quick test. We'll put it by the TV and pick up the signal. The oh, there's a useless mirror London. I work a lot in London and then as, well as, as far as I'm concerned, from that round, if we don't, if we do not take almost a rule this is there. By 2041, the the range won't be brilliant, it's only got a tiny antenna, it must be about 6 or 7 centimetres. You could put a 60 centimetre on it really, but a lot more range. Oh, I'll find it in the garden. Not bad, is it? Put a bigger antenna on it, got a lot more range. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you all soon. Look at yourselves.